YouTube on my Wii. I'm stupid. This is Paul again, doing my other bullcrap stuff. Anyway, I'm uh, going to talk about Netflix right now, specifically for the Wii. My red Wii here. Get my and for the Philips Blu-ray disc player. I'm going to go over the difference between the two. Since I'm on the Wii, I'm going to go ahead and do the Wii right now. Um, I'm going to show you the difference between the two. And first thing, let me point out this. The Wii's interface is just amazing. I love the Netflix experience of the interface. It is probably the best that I've seen so far with relation to uh, streaming. Netflix. I've, this is the first time I've ever seen this one, but it's so much like the actual experience from the website that it really is really, really good. And so as you can see, you get your entire queue here. You get your whole queue. And you also have your, and this is instant screaming, your, um, your recently watched queue. And plus you also, if you hit the, the B button, you'll get and go to the various pages you get a list of all the um, different categories and some that have your top picks uh, you have others that are like just basically suggestions for films that you liked and other things like that so let's uh... now this film right here the bubble is in H is presented in HD and we're gonna go on and play it from the last Ooh, doggy. point. I'm going to show you the difference. The one thing that you will notice from HDMI, the audio is great and the picture is great, but you notice there's no indicator on screen letting you know that it's HD. And you can't necessarily see it from here, but one thing I did notice is that the picture quality from um, Wii is much cleaner than it is. We'll see that it's listed as 480p, and that's the highest that the Wii can go up to you see that now this is the interface right here and this is it and this is all you get you just get a bunch of pictures scrolling just like in the commercial and that's all you get and it's so simple you can't even see your other queue you can't see recently watched you can't see anything this is all you get it's just it's not very interactive but the one thing you do get that you don't see in the other ones is that if you look at the bottom here you'll see hold on let me go back that some of them are actually listed see that as HD and that's something and I'm gonna go to um, the one I was watching earlier and that's this one I'm gonna go ahead and resume play and you'll see that the quality does go to HD watch HD and my TV will actually recognize sorry about that. <laughs> will actually recognize it as being HD. But, I don't know. This will look HD. I guess it depends on the content. And of course, it, I have it wired. It's not Wi-Fi. But then again, the Wii is only 480p, and this goes all the way up to 1080p, and that's a good thing about it. But the thing that bothers me about it is that some videos look really bad and some videos sound really good. Some videos look just really bad. The Wii looks so much smoother in some. I wish I can, this video was higher quality. You can see the actual differences. But, oh well. That's it. This is a useless video. And, uh, just bragging about some shit. And this is really stupid, so, you know, I don't know why I'm talking about this so okay well that's it bye okay I went ahead and got the Sony BDP S 570 um, hopefully it'll give me a better experience on Netflix but largely because it has better options I don't know why I think I can't remember why I upgraded to the Sony but I guess because of the 3d Anyway, here is the interface. I already registered, so 
one thing you'll notice that I noticed right away that of course Sony didn't go out with, it looks better than the uh, Philips you can see more of the titles which is great and you can see which ones are HD and which ones are not um, but what I notice right away let me go to the film that I was viewing earlier where is it oh there is the bubble um, it takes a really long time to load this is what I notice it takes a long time to load not like the Wii and the Philips which loads really quickly and of the three the Wii is the fastest at loading content it, it, it really just brings it up um, the one thing about the Philips is that it keeps the interface on the screen when it's paused and that's annoying See how long that's taking? That's taking a really long time. And another thing you notice is the picture quality. It's really grainy. It really is grainy. I don't know if that's because of the way I have it set up. And it's not as clear as it was on the Wii. And certainly it doesn't look as better as it did when it was on the Philips. So it looks kind of weird, but. There have been complaints about um, Sony's and Netflix capabilities. Heavens to Betsy! And then again, this is wired, so I wonder if I hooked it up with the actual cable. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks like it's actually being filmed from a uh, a screen, but it looks really grainy and not as smooth as it does on the Wii. You can see, you probably can't see it from this video, but it's a lot smoother here. But at the same time, it's, it's, this is 480i. So I guess in that regard, it probably looks... I don't know, I guess it looks a little better. The one thing about the Philips that I mentioned, that when you pause it, the interface stays on the screen. Whereas with the Sony and the Wii, it drops away. But, again... Um, as far as interfaces go, I'm just going to say this again, the Wii has the best interface. You can browse their entire library. You can browse your library, or you can search their entire library by entering key of any, you know, movie that you have. Like, I'm just going to type a word here. You see? And if it has a little thing by it, that means you can oh. um, see it as instant. If it doesn't, that means it's DVD only. And this is something that Sony and Philips just doesn't have. And this is why the Wii interface is just blows them away. <laughs> the quality isn't as better, isn't as great as uh, Philips and Sony, but this interface is amazing. And that's one thing that the Wii has over the uh, Sony and the Philips. I already did this. I mean, I set this for 1080i, and that's correct. So... I really don't know. I guess that, that that's just the way it shows. And, well, I guess it does look a little better on the Sony. But, again, I guess wish the interface is better. Okay, I'm done. I'm okay, because I know so many people care about this. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal about it. Anyway, here's the update. The uh, Sony updated their Blu-ray interface for Netflix. So here's the new interface. It now looks more like the one on the consoles. Um, once I get it to load here. As you can see, um, I have to, well, hold on. It has the instant queue, the, um, the recently watched queue. You can see that up close. Uh, it also has picks for you, top movies, and various categories. I can see it's just like the um, the console versions. Yeah, big deal. I know. Like, who cares, right? Uh, okay. So anyway, let's go back. I okay, guess go back. Um, and let's see what happens when we. 
So if we go to say, well, let's also it lumps all the seasons into one thing. So you can go to each season individually. So it no longer shows each season separately. But you know, they all do that. So it's good that they finally did this. It took them a while to update it. And that's good because now I don't have to go back and now I can just use my Wii to play games instead of using it to watch Netflix, which is really cool. So that's really cool. And uh, that's really it. Um, this film, Flesh, is a very strange film. Um, and there's another one called Heat and another one called Trash, which is even more strange. Basically, Paul Morrissey just exploited the actor, Joe Dele, Delejandro. I mean, basically in Trash, uh, the director just filmed the guy getting high off heroin. And of course, he runs around naked the entire film. Strange films from Andy Warhol. So anyway, that's it. And uh, like anyone cares, so I don't know why I'm doing this. So, see ya.